everything is in you you are creation too you are created too a zillion salutes to all women yes with 108 years of rich history we are going to celebrate international women's day 2020 and the year is concerned with each for equal that means if you want to enable world make sure to generation equality in every aspect of life the theme is realizing women's right for an equal future un believes if we all work together to fight against stereotypes challenges and biases we can eventually reach equality as a humanity world needs to count women's right as a human rights and bring them into mainstream equally i think the way we do that is we see each other as people it should not be a woman or a man you know it should just be whoever can do the job should get paid equally all the way down the line and a part of that is respectability if we respect each other we should never see each other as someone is less than we are just equal all the way across the board and i believe that gender equality will be wonderful for women because i think it will assist with making more um salary and equalize that in the workplace for women i think it's very important because women are very bright but many times don't move up the corporate ladder because they're a woman but what is the most important way to reach this goal UNESCO argues that literacy is a key factor in an individual's ability to take part in the labor market and succeed in society. But unfortunately, women make up more than two thirds of the world's 796 million illiterate people. Let's talk about other part of this picture. Behind the literacy, we can see gender imbalance in STEM field. Technology is going to be more advanced at a rapid speed. The labor market keeps evolving. As a result, an increasing number of jobs require STEM skills. But there are only 28% of women in this field, as opposed to 72% of men. So in the education field, there are a lot of women who from young children said, I want to be a teacher. that has been their life dream and so i do believe we have a lot of women in the educational profession in classrooms especially in elementary when i see in the high schools and in adult school for science and math it's mostly men and not a lot of women and it would be wonderful to see more women in that area of expertise because young females it's great to see a role model of women in education especially in the math and science fields researcher believes society still needs to learn and educate about equality acceptance and come out from negative stereotypes i think the difficulties for women is a lot of times the the male counterpart don't see them as a equal participant they see them as in a in a sexual nature and we we should like i said we should respect each other's ability not just because they are this person is one uh, as a woman or this person is a man i think we still have a long way to go you know but we are taking baby steps and hopefully it'll become a lot larger steps so society needs to get rid of all the shackles and work together with a strategy to make a world beautiful and free of gender thought We are women, we are sisters, we're soulmates. We need to help one another and a lot of times women aren't as open to help another woman. And we need to because if we mentor women, they'll move up the corporate ladder, they'll be able to do better. We understand being a woman, how to help another woman. We understand how things feel when whatever happens tragedy in your life. 
So it's very, very important. Please help and mentor a younger person, older person. Always look at a woman as your sister and help them in any way that they need. That's my advice.